Hey guys, Josh here. Um, this work from home video, I'm just put together a basic dashboard to manage remote workers and remote connections. So basically this dashboard allows you to visualize a, a device group with an extra hop and how it's performing. So you can build a device group around VPN clients, remote clients, whatever it may be. This particular dashboard I wanted to keep relatively simple and focus just on network. In the future, I'll build one out for Citrix and AD that are focused on the same device group. Okay, so let's walk through this. I'll include the dashboard in a link um, in my LinkedIn post so you can download this and apply it and, and make it your own. Because this is these are all completely editable up here. If you want to download it and just do edit layout, and make it your own, you can. Cool. So the first thing first, on the remote dashboard, you can then change this to any device group you want. So if you had VPN device group one, application two, whatever you wanted to, you can actually just change that right into here. You could change it to VPN clients if I wanted to. That's now gonna fill in everything for VPN clients, the relevant metrics that are on this dashboard. Great. So up here in the left, I've kind of just went through a definition and took the extra hop helps definition of some of the key metrics that I have in here. To the right here, you can use security. So in this group, who's affected, who's had alerts? So from a security perspective, you can quickly see, are these new remote workers, these VPN connections, do they have detection alerts or do they have things like invalid passwords? And what's really cool is you can click on this and you get that detection alert. Oh, there's a new DNS server in here. Or what's this VMware server on? Oh, it's done some SYN scans. So it's only the ones that are associated with that VPN group and you're getting those detection alerts right here. And they can also obviously be, e be emailed to you as well. Okay, so what are we looking at from the network perspective? So the things I like to understand as a network engineer is how much bandwidth is being used. So bandwidth by layer seven protocol bits in. So this is like, as an inbound traffic, what are we seeing here, right? And you can click over any things, you can drag over that if you'd like. And then what are we seeing outbound? What are we seeing going to the remote workers? Okay, great. Now, um, this is gonna break it down by average rate by device. You could change that to count as well if you wanted to, right? If that's more relevant, and again, edit layout and you can change these metrics how you see fit, right? But really what I'm trying to do is break down bandwidth and then I'm trying to break down who is the top takers of those bandwidth. Who is the actual biggest users of my VPN client group? And this gives you that top 10 list. Network guys like me love top 10 list, right? As humans, we kind of do. So out, who's taking up that bandwidth that's associated here, and in. So you can quickly understand, is there something that's happening? I could go to that, this particular device, right? You can see here, the Zoom is taking up a ton of it, right? That makes sense. Everyone's using a lot of Zoom right now, right? So you can then go and see like who's connected to that, what's IP, right? Those type of things. Great. Some of these metrics you may not be as familiar with, but these are really powerful, something we've done for years. So read transition timeouts and zero windows. I have the definitions right up here. Essentially, these are gonna be stalls I've retransmitted to you um, X number of times. You haven't acknowledged it. I'm gonna put, put you in the timeout bucket of one to five seconds. So each time that's happening, you're getting a stall. You could click on that and drill down by the IP and group member, Josh's laptop, whatever it is that's having that problem. And you could isolate it to the link or an application or see what layer seven protocol is being used. Zero windows essentially mean that one side of the link is potentially is overburdened. So it could be CPU or memory. It's basically TCP saying, stop sending me data. I can acknowledge you, but I can't handle the amount of data that's processing. So something to be aware of, especially as you spike up, if your backend applications aren't able to handle those, maybe a load balancer is misconfigured, a VPN, those type of things. So, and then we can get into things like setup time. So I have round trip time and setup time in here. What I'm finding with the remote workers and I've talked to some of my clients is setup time matters. So essentially what setup time is gonna be here, and again, I have the definition right here, is the time between the extra up system taking the first and last packet of a three-way handshake. So really what that allows me to do is it allows you to understand, all right, so when you make a connection, how is that three-way handshake performing? So I make a connection out to the firewall, VPN concentrator. If I can't complete that three-way handshake, nothing else matters. I can't make that initial three-way handshake. So it really allows me to understand this particular device is taking a long time to connect IPs. So it really allows you to troubleshoot that quickly and, and know is that where your source or your problem is. You can download the packets, work with that frontline firewall, VPN to be able to understand why aren't we completing the handshakes there in a timely manner. Okay, and then the final thing that's pretty important, I'll move myself over here, is round trip time. So on the right here, you're gonna see round trip time broken out very simply by how my VPN client servers, whatever device group I have in here, performing on the 
25th percentile, 95th percentile, and 99th. So at a 99th percentile, I'm 138 milliseconds. I'm doing pretty good. And then I have a line chart here, kind of showing you when that 95th percentile, as I have on the line chart, is performing. Like when is that, when do we see spikes? When does that move up and down? So you can see when your round trip time spikes, and you could drill into that if you want to by IP and group member to see who's making up that, that spike. Really powerful to understand your network statistics there. And then who are those guys that are doing the performance slowly on the network? So the, the top 20 worst performers here. And then it shows you on a sliding scale from the 25th to 95th percentile with the median being right here. But you can see that range that it's having. So if you've got some of these devices that have very long range, there may be on a floppy connection, there may be an issue there. Is everyone or is it just a certain subset of your devices? Okay. Okay, let me put it back down here. And then in summary, basically we've got the definition of some of the key metrics. You can change the device group up here, so keep that in mind. So you can change this to any device or device group in your environment. So you can quickly just boom, and it changes all the metrics. So all the alerts change. You can hit the detection alert, get the idea of what's happening from a security perspective. You can get the definitions here, bandwidth in and out, the individual client IPs and stuff that are taking up all that bandwidth, the TCP metrics that are telling a story of is there throttling or issues there, how long it's taking to complete three-way handshakes, and then the round trip time details associated down here of your VPN clients, of your remote workers. Hope this is helpful. Thanks, guys.